I think it's very helpful, um, because what was the, uh, the question was, um, is it helpful to think that your soul is perfect, um, particularly <coughs> when, it, when you're first incarnated? And yes, I think it's very helpful to understand that all of us have been created perfectly, and when we first incarnated, we were in a pristine state. Because then we don't identify ourselves and our personality with our errors. See, Many of you at the moment through your emotional processing are having a problem by that you are now identifying yourself as the error and you feel so ashamed of yourself as a result. And then you don't allow yourself to feel the emotion, right? So let's say you had a feeling inside of you of rage, so much rage that there's some people that you actually feel you'd like to kill. <coughs> you actually feel that. You don't act on it, but you feel it. Now. If you identify yourself with that emotion, what's going to happen is you're going to start feeling yourself that, that that's you. And then you'll be ashamed of yourself for having that feeling. And what do you generally do when you're so ashamed? You generally don't allow yourself to process that emotion. Does that make sense? And, and so it can be a great impediment to you thinking that this emotion is really you. The truth is that every emotion that's in disharmony with natural love, and obviously murdering someone is in disharmony with natural love, every emotion in disharmony with natural love wasn't in you at the beginning. It got in you through this process of absorption of emotions from your family and your parents and from the surroundings and so forth. So those emotions in you do not define you. They are not you. They are... They are mud being splattered at you that have your soul has now absorbed and if you can see yourself as a pristine soul with all this mud and all the process that we're suggesting is to squirt off the mud <laughs> right? which is me which means I'm going to I'll be able to identify that mud I'm going to be able to see it I'll be able to feel it and but the process of feeling it and experiencing it will it'll wash off of me and that's the process that I need to allow myself to go through. So yes, it can be certainly very helpful for you to think of yourself as a pristine soul with a lot of mud that's been splattered at you. Yeah. So standing under the white light under a waterfall, cleansing your soul, and washing all the dark mud, wash away out of your feet? And you can go into a lot of these processes metaphysically, but they will not work. What you will need to do is go into them and experientially. In other words, you are going to have to feel every emotion that's mud inside of you as it passes through you. And that is the process of washing it out of you. So every time you try to do it a different way, you will find in the end that you're just fooling yourself in the end. Right? And, and so this is why a lot of people have been doing these things for years and years and years. And then when I talk to them for five minutes, they get angry with me. Well, why is the anger in them? Because they, all this process that they thought they had, that they thought worked, didn't actually work because their understanding of it was that they, could, they, they didn't have to feel it or experience it. So the truth is that you're going to have to experience every emotion that's mud in you. <coughs> Oh, how many of you are a bit depressed about that? Right? But can you see that it's a part? It's a part of you. It's become a part of you. It's all locked up in you. How else is it going to come out? Now you can tap your way out of it, or you can do all sorts of other techniques way out of it. But you're not going to get out of it until you experience it. Then you will get out of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Um, AJ, on your human level, yep. and, um, and your soul level, at times I imagine it might be in conflict in, in relation to your own emotional growth, and your own emotional blocks, or mud, or things that you're dealing with through your life. Yep. When, when these sessions that are happening in connection to where you're sitting and getting at, yep. how, 
do you ever go away and wonder whether anything that's come to you from the book has triggered anything that you might be struggling with? The groups trigger me constantly. Because you've got you've got a hundred or two hundred people projecting all sorts of emotions at you. So how, how, how do you manage that? Like what, what do you what do you do at a practical level? I don't manage it. Okay. I just I just go into it. Like so so at the moment I can feel like there's probably a third of you are sort of in the lines of yeah I reckon he might be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Three you know, the other two thirds or just uh, just a bit under two thirds are. Oh, I don't know about this, you know, like, there's a lot of those kind of emotions coming. And later you'll find there'll be lots of emotions coming from you that I'll identify as we go through. And what I'm trying to do every single time is just allow myself to feel what's going on all the time. So that doesn't impact on any projection back from you in any way from an emotional drop, so you're able to clear it as you're going through to understand? No, no, it may trigger me now and then I have to go home and maybe spend a whole week dealing with something okay. as a result. That's happened many times. Yeah. Like I've had groups where, you know, one half of the audience has just gotten up and walked out. Okay. And, and of course that has an effect on them, <laughs> right? Because that, if I've got emotions of unworthiness or whatever within me, they get triggered straight away. And then I have, I've had where people have got up and projected lots of anger at me and, like, and, I, and I go home confused because I'm saying, I just did a free session and they're angry with me. Like, how can you be angry with someone who just give you something for free? <laughs> you know, so I'd go home and process that emotion, you know, and feel all those emotions as they're coming up. So the, the key thing is to allow yourself to feel everything you're feeling at the time you're feeling it. That's the most powerful thing. Yeah. But not always easy. It's crazy. I was wondering if 